Hey guys, it's Bro you Wack, and I think we finally found the answer. We found the answer to counter goats, and it was just in the latest patch, and that's the brand new hero, Jeff Kaplan! No, I'm just kidding. A man can only dream of a sexy hero like that coming into Overwatch, but then they have to rate it A for adult only. No, but in reality, we might have just seen what could be the answer to the goat composition in the latest patch for a PTR. If you guys don't know, there was a good handful of changes to heroes, but more importantly, to two heroes. Heroes. Well, one is definitely a part of the GOAT composition that is going to hurt it significantly, and one could possibly be the answer to not only GOATs, but possibly just one of the greatest DPS that you kind of have to run every single game, all because this man's is so powerful. I'll put the whole entire patch note on the screen for you guys right now, but what I want you guys to pay attention to is my main man McCree, because the buff that he received is going to be towards his primary form of fire, and the recovery time reduced from 0.5 seconds to 0.4 seconds. Now, when I first say that, it might not seem like a lot. <laughs> Oh, but when I show you guys side to side from the live servers and PTR, you can obviously tell the difference. Like, the changes are so significant that if you were to log on to the latest PTR patch after not playing Overwatch for, I would say, at least a year, you can tell that his recovery time got reduced. You can tell the changes that he received with this latest patch. That is how big this change is. But why do I think that this specific change from McCree is going to be so good, good enough to possibly break up the gold composition? Again, I'm not saying that's going to happen overnight, but what I am saying is over time teams and good players are going to recognize that McCree is a godlike hero. He has so much DPS potential and so much DPS output to the point where they're going to be looking at okay well what do we want to run? Goats or do we want to have more damage since McCree is so good? Okay well let's swap out the Lucio from the Cree. Well what does that mean for the team? That means that the tanks aren't going to be able to speed in and they're going to be slow sitting ducks because they're just this big beefy tanks. That means that they're going to have to rework their composition all because McCree is such a great hero to have. What I'm basically saying here is that McCree could possibly be the new meta because he's the most effective tactic available. That's what meta stands for, most effective tactic available, all because, well, if you want to get fast kills and be able to still win, go with a McCree because he has that ability to get fast kills. But that's really looking at it from your team's perspective. If you want to run the McCree, let's say you want to run the typical goals, three tanks, three supports. Well, of course, you're gonna have a Reinhardt in that go composition, and the thing with this latest buff to McCree is that he's now able to shoot a whole lot faster. What does that mean for your Reinhardt shield? That's gonna go down a whole lot faster-er. Even though McCree might be good, my English is just as bad, but what I'm trying to say is, is that McCree is gonna bust through these people. You thought Bastion was the answer for the GO composition? Well, he still somewhat is. What McCree is gonna be able to do now is burn that shield, burn these tanks from long distances. And that's a weak and kind of a hole in this whole entire GO composition plan is that they are terrible at long range. That's why Bastion, that's why Farah. And now possibly McCree are going to be the answers to finally kill off the GOAT composition is because teams don't want to deal with that lack of range that they have every single time that they run GOATs. But while I've been going on and on about McCree's buff, I haven't even once mentioned D.Va's defense matrix nerf because if you guys don't know, the distance of her DM got reduced from 15 meters all the way to 10 meters. Now while that only really applies when you're catching projectiles and hit scans at a horizontal angle because if you're facing same McCree face first, you're still going to be catching it. But once again, it just opens the door for a lot of these projectile and hit scan heroes like the McCree that I keep mentioning, like Soldier, like Widow, like Pharah, like Bastion, to be able to not only burn the Reinhardt shield, but just to burn all these heroes that once were protected by Defense Matrix or all these shields. But more specifically to just McCree. Like, this is a great thing for GOATs because D.Va of Focal Point for GOATs is now being brought down and McCree, that really wasn't all that good to begin with when it came to the GOAT comps. He was still good, but when it came to GOATs, he wasn't. Is now getting brought up all because stuff is starting to go into his favor. DM isn't as effective as it once was, and now he's able to burn the shield even faster, just being able to get those fast kills. So GOATs is going to be broken up one way or another in the perfect world. Again, a perfect world doesn't have GOATs, so this is what's basically going to happen. Hey guys, what should we run? Okay, well, uh, McCree just got a buff. You know, he's really good. He's really fast. All right, let's run the McCree. Ooh, well, we need a primary healer for the McCree because he goes down really, really quick. Well, we can't run goats at that point. Oh, that's fine. Let's not run goats. Okay, so your team isn't running goats. 
Ooh, the enemy team is gonna be running. Wait, no they won't. McCree just has to burn the shield. Defense Matrix is useless. Zarya, you just have to wait for the bubble. Boom, McCree, go off, baby boy. And then he goes off with his fast, fast, bang, bang, peacekeeper. That's what I'm imagining is gonna happen. Then at that point, nobody's running goats. Because the issue right now is that every team doesn't wanna run goats. But as soon as someone suggests, hey guys, uh, we should run goats. Then everyone starts running goats, but they can't do that if they have someone like McCree on the enemy team that's just going to be able to burn the shield or burn all these big BV takes at a long range, assuming that you know how to hit your shots. And those are my thoughts on the latest McCree and D.Va changes. While I didn't really go into detail about the other heroes like Symmetra, Torbjorn, and Arissa and whatnot, I really just wanted to focus on what's going on right now, and that is that goats is running rampant and we have to find an answer. And I think McCree could possibly be the answer or slowly over time goats is just gonna get nerfed but the thing when it comes to nerfs and buffs is that you don't want to make one hero so powerful that they're needed in every single composition because that's what happened with mercy back in like season six but you also don't want to nerf every single hero to the point where they're not useful enough because that's what happened with doofus recently so i think what they're doing right now is kind of making overwatch a little bit more balanced and I kind of like it. So anyway, guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come. And bye.